Let me ask you a question. What's it like having a sleepover at John Bellion's house? Spiritual. Is it? Okay. Let me let me actually let me actually tell you how it is. Yeah, I want to know. <laughs> First of all, his house is beautiful. It is. It looks like a house. Like, as in, I feel like some musicians like have these crazy elaborate homes that are like just wild. John Bellion's house. <clears throat> like he's a family man, and that house looks like it's the house of a family man. Like as in, it looks like a beautiful, nice home that I would want to live in with a family. Wow. Like it's it's wonderful, and it like makes you feel at home. Yeah. So but in his basement, like he's got this guest room with a bunk bed that I stayed on with Eli, the <laughs> producer. So like we're in a bunk bed, so I felt like a kid again. <laughs> And his bathroom is so sick. He had the most beautiful shower I think I've ever seen. Really? So I took like three showers a day just to be in there. Because <laughs> you could. Yeah. Not your water. <laughs> Not my. Oh, I, yeah. I didn't think about that. Sorry, John. <laughs> I The water bill must have been expensive. You better release those songs. Yeah. It just like, he just makes you feel at home. He, he really does. Like make you, makes you feel very welcomed. Are there late night conversations that are happening? Oh, yeah. Bet your butt. <laughs> who, who, who's the last person to say goodnight? Mm, probably me. And so I, I was like, I was laying on the top, and Yuli's down on the bottom. And, you know, it's it's just like that. I feel like just a scene from a movie where, like, you're going to bed. You're like, all right, goodnight. And then you're, like, laying there for a sec. <laughs> you know, have you ever thought about this? <laughs> <laughs> Like you get talking, like I feel like, like when I'm when I'm with Eli, one he's just such a he's such a cool guy, um, but he just is like a kid, and so I feel like both of our energy, like I just we like we talked for so long in John Bellion's basement. I know, like we're, we're in his basement and just like laying there, and John does this. I it's like Wim Hof, uh, the, the breathing method, the breathing method, and he like. Like, John preaches it like yeah. it's a religion. Like, in a good way where, like, you're so passionate about the Wim Hof. And it's like this breathing method. He showed us. We did it. Lee and I did it. And you, like, I don't really know how quite to explain it, but it, it's basically you're allowing your brain to have more oxygen levels than it usually does. And oxygen is what fuels your brain. And so when you have more oxygen in your brain, you have access to more of your brain Mm. In just a more clear way. So it's like, like I've never been high before, but I feel like that's what being high would feel like. Do you do it now on the regular or what? Get high? No, no, no. The breathing. <laughs> <method>. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no I, I actually only did it that once. But like when I did it, you have to, you have to hold your breath for like increments of like, it's like yes. a minute. And like the thing that's so crazy about it is you breathe out before you hold your breath. Which is weird. Like, like I didn't think I'd be able to hold my breath. You hold it for like forty-five seconds to a minute after you've breathed out. Oh. But like you're so like the whole th the whole time you're like sucking in like more oxygen than you, than you usually do, and then right when you breathe out you hold, so like you have more oxygen in you, and then you release and then you hold. And like it was, I was real so confused because I had just breathed out and I was holding my breath for a minute and I felt like I could do it forever. It was just crazy. But then, like, at the end, you stand up, and everything's just wonky. And did you write a song that day? We did it at night. <laughs> so, of course, we did it right before we go to bed. So, like, <laughs> so you and I go, go, into the, go into the bunk bed, and we're sitting there like, bro, I feel insane right now. This is crazy. <laughs> He's like, dude, I was about to say the same thing. It's just, you just, like, feel different. I don't, I don't quite know how to explain it.